Howdy, everybody. I'm starting a new project today. It's a pretty big project and probably will take me quite a while to do it. So there might be several videos associated with it. But I finally have decided that I need to fence in the property. Now we do have a barbed wire fence. It's kind of an old barbed wire fence, but it's very functional. Uh, but sheep don't react well to barbed wire fences. Even hair sheep don't react well to barbed wire fences. They basically can go right through it. So I've used temporary electric fence to create paddocks here on the property for the last two years. And that's okay, but it's time consuming taking that stuff down and putting it back up again. So I want to have a little bit more of a permanent situation, particularly for the access paths that the sheep use to get to the paddocks. I want to make some fencing with bamboo. We have a little bit of bamboo here, but not a lot. So I'm using what we have to start out as kind of an experimental run. And then I'll see if we can get bamboo from another source, if it works. Anyway, I want to show you what I'm doing here briefly. Here is the material that I have already. These are poles that are going to be used for the fence. And now I have to cut these others to length. And cutting bamboo is not easy, particularly if you don't have any power tools, which I don't have. So I have to use hand tools to do it, and it's not easy. What I have found is that a cross-cut saw works to get the cut started, but the bamboo is moist, so it catches the saw blade. So I experimented, and I found that a hacksaw, believe it or not, actually does a better job. But it doesn't start the cut very well. So what I do is I start the cut with the crosscut saw, and then I finish it with the hacksaw. And you'll see as I'm doing it here. Okay, so I'm measuring the posts at 175 centimeters. All right, I've marked off the 175 centimeters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a cut with the cross-cut saw here. And I'm making a circle. So now I'm going to take the hacksaw and go back to where I started and cut deeper. So now we have a nice clean cut here at the end. Now I think we have enough that we could cut another one. Let's see. So here we are again. All I'm going to do is cut a notch with this saw to get things started. Okay, there's another one. This piece here is a little too thin for the post, but for a bar, it's okay. Or if I wanted to cut in smaller pieces and pick a door, I can do that. So we save everything. Another thing that we have to do is clean around the nodes of the bamboo. As you can see, this is where a branch of the bamboo came out and this won't be suitable. So all I'm going to do is take the hacksaw here and cut through.
There. Now that's pretty clean. There's several more nodes along these pieces of bamboo that have to be cleaned. But we're increasing the size of our group of posts. You'll see in another video how we're going to treat this bamboo so that it will last. Okay, well I just wanted to give an idea of what our next big project is here on the farm, and it's the fencing. With that, I'm going to end the video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.